Hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of new Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DS. Let's get a new game started here and watch the intro. It's a lovely day in the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario is on a date with Princess Peach when a dark cloud appears above the castle and oh jeez it's under attack. Mario go save everyone like you usually do. No wait, wait come back. It's actually a distraction. Princess Peach is going to be kidnapped. Oh ugh, too late. Ah, oh, Mario is so easily tricked. As evidenced by something bad that happened off screen, he took a hit. He shrunk back down the regular Mario, which he will then die in one hit. If I should take a hit in the first stage. And that's pretty much the story in a nutshell. <laughs> Were you expecting something else? I sure hope not. <laughs> anyway, let's start 1-1 one one, and I'll go over the basics of the game here. Move with the D-pad. Jump with the B button and hold the Y button to run and you yeah, that's pretty much it <laughs> Really basic really intuitive anyone can get into stuff and Commit violence against Goombas like I just did there that mushroom that I collected was a super mushroom And it increased my size back to where it was in the intro of the game So now I can take a hit, but it also makes it harder for me to fit into stuff <laughs> Uh, this also grants me other properties, which I'll demonstrate a little bit later, but for now I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, you'll notice that there are blocks that have just regular one coins in them, but then there are also these sorts of blocks that have multiple coins in them. And you can tell when there are, there's a block that has multiple coins in them when you hit them and they don't turn solid like that uh, after the first hit. So keep your eye out on that if you are a uh, coin hog. <laughs> Anyway, the game is pretty much like a regular Mario game overall until you get to this box with a Mega Mushroom! Destroy everyone and everything in your path! There are three star coins like that big coin I collected there in every level and I gotta get them all to 100% it. The more stuff you destroy, the more one-ups you will get as indicated by- oh shoot, <laughs> as indicated by the top of the screen there as the meter fills up. Uh, when you have any sort of power-up, you can ground pound through these blocks like this. Not all the blocks, because sometimes they turn into solid blocks. But, uh, yeah. Now you'll notice, oh no! We missed the coin! Well, where is it? Well, I conveniently avoided this pipe when I was destroying everything as Mega Mario. Press down to go inside pipes, and you'll go into a super secret underground area with Goombas! Maybe it's like a Goomba house with the Goomba family or something like that. Maybe I shouldn't shouldn't kill these guys. I, I no, no, no! No, don't! Why? Why? The family? No! No, I'm sorry with what happened to your family. No, no, don't join them! Oh! Uh, well, I'll leave them be, I suppose. Anyway, there's the last star coin. <laughs> And this power-up that I got in this box here is a fire flower, which for some reason I can't jump to. There we go. Now we got an extra use for the Y button. We can shoot fireball, which kills most things in the game with one hit. Now let's go back a little bit to see what we missed. And when we were destroying everything and everything as Mega Mario. It's fun to do, but you gotta be careful not to destroy stuff like that uh, pipe. Otherwise you won't be able to go in it. Um, I didn't really introduce Koopas, did I? Yeah, these turtle guys. Their Koopas, depending on their color, will change their behavior, like green ones will fall off of edges um, when they reach them, but red ones will not. Like see that one, it turns around when it hits an edge, but a green one would not. And you can even make bridges for it like that whenever there is invisible blocks, and they'll cross it happily. Uh, when you ever, whenever you knock a Koopa for a loop, they will go inside their shell and you can kick it around. And this will kill other enemies in its path, like that. You could also pick it up with the Y button by holding the Y button and then releasing the Y button. It's a hold and release thing, like, you know, hold, closing your hand to grab something and, you know, opening it. It's very intuitive. I don't know why I spent so much time explaining grabbing, but yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on here. That's pretty much all there is to the game's basics. Uh, other than the end of the stage, which is a... I jumped a little late there. <laughs> which is a flagpole. And the higher you get on the flagpole, the better your reward will be. If you get all the way up to the top, you will get a 1-up like that. Yeah! And since I collected all three star coins, there are three in every level. That means World 1-1 is now complete. Woo! Now let's go over to 1-2 right away, and 
They'll start you off immediately with a ground pound, which is, I think, the game's way to demonstrate to you how a ground pound works, like they're supposed to figure out from here. Yeah, you press down in midair to do a ground pound. That, yeah, that's how I guess they taught you that, and yeah. Anyway, let's grab some coins by ground pounding, and I'll be, probably be fiddling with the Xbox D-pad the whole time, <laughs> because it's sometimes finicky when I play side-scrollers like that, and I, have, and I have to do certain motions. Anyway, whenever you see blocks that you can keep ground pounding through you can keep holding down and you can keep breaking through them with ease to find secrets loaded with coins whenever you get a hundred coins like I just did there you'll get a one-up but this game gives you so so many lives that I don't really think you're gonna have to be a money grubber to survive away from the game over screen <laughs> Anyway, I'm still looking for secrets and coins and Goombas, oh my, and okay, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> um, I think there's, yeah, there's gonna be a, a secret. Um, oh yeah, whenever you get something, uh, like when you're fully powered up and you get another a power up, it'll go to the touch screen. If you touch it, it'll appear on the top other screen and you can collect it. It's sort of like a reserve power up. Anyway, there is, uh, yeah, there's a one-up in that box right there. There's all sorts of secrets in Mario games like that. I don't know them all, but I'm gonna go over the ones that I do know, and the one-up will poop out right over there. Unless you break blocks behind it and, you know, chase it down or something like that. <laughs> um, this, this coin right here is kind of interesting, because you know how they taught you how to do ground pounds? Yeah, you can do it like that, but look at this, it looks... They, oh shoot, <laughs> they, what they do is they have these blocks off to the side to sort of tell you, hey, you can't ground pound through everything. So yeah, um, <laughs> that's a pretty neat way to teach you that. Oh, and also notice that the enemies dance to the music. Gotta look out for that, otherwise it could mess up your timing. Um, you can also collect star coins by throwing Koopa shells and stuff at them. But I, I didn't wasn't able to really demonstrate it there because I just demolished it with a ground pound. But yeah, uh, keep that in mind for other stuff later on. I probably probably shouldn't have hit that lower block first. I'll oh, screw it. Probably not important. <laughs> I can't reach the top one easily now. Uh, maybe I should be checking some pipes for secrets. Ooh, secrets! Look at this. And also, if you throw shells at coins, you can collect them as well. Isn't that nice? I don't know if there's anything else hidden here. Probably because it's a spot that you can dig into via shell, via a shell like that. And yeah, let's just see what that shell does down there. I'm just gonna destroy stuff around here for kicks. Oh no! <laughs> I kind of slipped off the edge. By the way, be careful not to shoot a fireball with the Y button while shells are going around because it'll destroy the fire, I mean, it'll destroy the um, shell. By the way, if you ever are in a situation where you can hit a, a block that has multiple coins in it fast enough, um, you can keep hitting it and you'll be able to get a mushroom out of it. Pretty nice uh, little trick to find. Anyway, I'm spending a lot of time in this little area, so <laughs> let's get out of here now and uh, see if there's anything we missed. I think that was the pipe I went in, so let's move on here. Uh, anything? Another fire flower, I guess I can grab that for kicks. Those are piranha plants, by the way. They pop in and out of plants, uh, except when you're right next to them. Like, right next to the pipe, for some reason they don't do that. When you walk away, look at that. And they come back out of the pipes, and yeah, I'm wasting a lot of time here. <laughs> Just doing a lot of explanations and stuff and stuff and stuff. So yeah, let's, let's race to the end here. By the way, you might notice that there's a little ledge above here. Ignore that for now. But then you're like, oh no, I missed a coin! Where, where, where's the last coin? Wait, hold on, relax. It's in the level, don't worry, I'll show you where it is. Now, let's, these, the edges of these stairs are kind of finicky, because you stop if you hit the corner, and I need to get a running start in order to get to the top of the flagpole, which I didn't quite do. I got the second best prize, which is 8,000 points. But anyway, we gotta go back inside that stage, because there's something else for us to find in it. Oh, yes. So I'm just gonna race through the stage as quickly as I possibly can now. Um, I'm not gonna cut forward or anything like this because it's gonna go really fast and I like to show that I'm not cheating or anything like that since I'm playing on an emulator. <laughs> 
So yeah, it's, it's not a difficult stage or anything like that, it's just something, you know, just to show... Uh, I can actually demonstrate this now. Uh, it's something to prove things is what I'm saying. Yeah, like watch this. See? It will collect coins just like that. So using shells, very handy in that way. And oh! Mm -mm. I was reckless. I was so reckless. Well, I know this contains a power-up. Yeah! Look how much faster things go when I'm not explaining things. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost to the teeter-totter with that um, hidden upper ground area, I guess you could say, and here we are. Oh, didn't quite make it. I need to get this as high as I possibly can. Ah, poopers. And... There we go. I'm above the world. I think this is a reference to the original uh, Mario Brothers on the NES, because there was a similar secret like this in uh, in that game, only it led to a warp zone. Anyway, this level actually has two exits, and one is a secret, one is not. You can tell which is a secret exit if it has a red flag. So that was the secret exit. Woo! Um, when you get certain numbers at the end of the clock, you get that many fireworks. I believe the numbers are like one, three, six, and nine, or something like that. I always forget the numbers. But it's the last digit of the timer at the upper right corner of the screen. Um, that'll, whenever you get fireworks like that, uh, you'll get points and it'll unlock uh, Mushroom House or something here over at the start square of the area. But uh, I, mm, I'd, I'd like to save those for later because I want a specific power-up from one of them for that upcoming tower. So I'm going to skip over them for now and just go over to 1-3 here, if you don't mind. Okay, okay. Whenever you see a uh, angel block that's red above the map and it lands on the space that you're going into, well, you can actually go into a space that has it, it'll give you a random power-up. In this case, it's a fire flower. Uh, there are all sorts of power-ups in this game, and I'll go over them as I go. But what I'm looking for in specific is a blue shell power-up, because I'm going to need it for a secret exit in the tower. Uh, anyway, jumping off of these spinny, spinny platforms will make you spin super high in the air and glide down. You can also bounce off of uh, the pink mushrooms with super flowiness to collect stuff as well like that. Follow the coins, follow your nose, and you will find more treasure along the way, like a second star coin. <laughs> I'm kind of happy that I don't have the shell power up now because it's really, really hard to control. Well, I shouldn't say it's hard to control, it's, it's an expert power up. <laughs> and I'm not that skilled at the game to the point that I have the levels memorized and I'll be able to glide through a level with the shell. So I'm not very comfortable with the shell, but I do need to use the shell to get into certain spots. Anyway, there is the last star coin. Um, above the dancing mushrooms. Uh, anytime you see a red ring, you can go through it and you'll start a 8 coin minigame of sorts. And if you get all the red coins before the minigame ends, you'll be able to get something out of it. What that something is, is determined by what you have. Uh, at the time, like since I have everything like powered up, I got a one up out of that. But if I don't, I'll get some sort of power up from it. Anyway, one dash three now completed. Now I wonder if I should do the secret exit first, or if I should do the regular exit. Probably the regular exit. So I'm just gonna go straight to the tower and not to the uh, mushroom house down at the bottom of the, of the pathway. Uh, we got. This is the moving block castle, when we were moving blocks can hide stuff. That's a dry bones. If you hit it, it crumbles. It looks like you defeat it. I mean, you defeated it, but no, it revives itself. And yeah, <laughs> there are ways to kill it, but uh, they aren't in my possession right now. Ooh, hello there. Uh, don't get squished. Squishing is a one hit kill. So this uh, tower might be more dangerous than anything up to this point so far. Especially if you aren't adapted in trying to get into spots. So yeah, just push yourself against the wall and you shouldn't have any issues getting yourself into those spots without worrying about uh, getting squished. Here, however, hold right and the run button. Go, 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 go. Hold left and run button. Go, 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 go. Okay. <laughs> and another... Oh, that sucked. I think there's a power-up in here anyway, though. Yep. 
Yep, yep, moving platform. You are not my friend. Dry bones, will you help me up there? Thank you. Oh, yeah, mm. yeah. There we go. I didn't know it was that difficult to get. <laughs> All right, now we got a sort of kind of stairway to heaven. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> now we gotta. Oh, oh shoot! I didn't mean the wall kick. You can wall kick by pushing up against the wall and hitting the jump button. That's not what I wanted to do there. And there's a coin. Don't get squished. Do not get swished. Don't worry about that second coin though. I know where it is. Whoop! Whoop! Yep! <laughs> and don't worry about those coins on the side. I'll, I'll teach you about them as we go uh, through that other path in a second run through here. Watch these blocks carefully and go down about here. Once they open up and you get shot out of it, that's where you don't get squished. And over here is a couple of really big dry bones off to the side there. Just some detailing, I guess. Nothing, you know, they aren't a threat to you or anything like that since they're in the wall. And anyway, let's go through the big doors and meet up with Bowser Jr. So he just, you know, kind of all walks around there. That's, that's all he does. He sometimes goes in a shell, I think. Or maybe that's in his later forms, but this is all he does right now. Three hits by jumping on him, and he will be done. If you want to speed this up, you can ground pound and do two hits for the price of one. Yeah! I don't even know why I celebrated that. That was just embarrassing of Bowser Jr. <laughs> oh, no. Once again, Mario was so preoccupied with something. In this case, it was victory. That he didn't even notice that Peach was being taken away to another castle. Oh yeah, I made that joke. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go in this house and hope, hope, hope that I get a shell from this. Uh, whenever you go in one of these item houses, you got this like roulette block of sorts. And what I'm looking for is to get that blue shell on that. Yes, got it! Oh yeah! Now, the reason why I want this shell is because of that secondary path at the tower. So let's go over there right now. It's very nice to have the shell in reserve so you don't accidentally lose your shell. That way you can switch power-ups, you know, at will when you get to the spot that you need to use it at. So, uh, yeah, take, um, I mean, try to get the item you want to use in a level in reserve, if at all possible. But uh, it's not necessary, just as long as you, you know, you don't take a hit. <laughs> But sometimes that's easier said than done in the in the level design. So anyway, I'm going to pretty much ignore everything else for the most part and just continue up the tower like nothing. Hopefully not get squished. So even if I die at this point, because I have the um, item in reserve, I don't have to worry about losing it. Now going in this pipe, see those dotted line coins? When you pass by them, they turn into regular coins that you can collect. Now you notice that there's a door there. You can enter doors by pressing up. And I'm gonna wall kick my way to it. And press up to go in here, and this is a really funky room. It's really out of place compared to the rest of the castle. Careful here, down is death. Don't fall in a bottomless pit for, yeah, you will regret it. Now, there's the last star coin, but remember I said there's a secret exit? Well, where is this secret exit? You can look around the castle anywhere else and you won't find it. Well, the answer is that it is in here. Well, where is it? Get ready for one of the most obscure secrets you will possibly ever see. <laughs> yeah, if you go outside that side of the screen, you'll be able to find it. And there's a couple hidden uh, blocks there. Uh, one of them contains a 1-up. Now, this is what you need the shell for. Like, you see, you could sort of kind of ground pound. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to do that because my head's hitting the ceiling. But, yeah, you could possibly ground pound these two, but not that one underneath, because, you know, you can't get underneath it. So I'm going to touch that, but in fact I'm going to click it with the mouse, because I'm playing on an emulator, and turn into a shell. Look at that! I can now break the blocks, even though I accidentally released the Y button. <laughs> I have a very light touch on my controllers. And I'm going to jump to... Yeah, that's how it's done. And there we go. Going through this pipe will lead you to the secret exits. And should I be destroying those? Probably not. Because this is a pretty hard one to get a one-up off of. <laughs> oh geez. I'm not I'm gonna keep trying at this. I'm like not I'm not the kind of person to give up. Yeah. 
Mario clear. And there we go. Now this is going to open up a path to a cannon. Now what might a cannon do? Let's go see. Cannons aren't so much levels are they, as they are warps of sorts. Like you see there's just a pipe here. Nothing all that. Where's the cannon then? Like where? Have you seen a cannon out in the overworld? Where the heck is it? Oh there it is! Perhaps this wasn't such a good idea after all. Ooh, Team Rocket's blasting off again! And this will lead you to later worlds in the game. See, it said W5 on the cannon, so it led you to World 5. And yes, I will save the game. I don't really consider this a spoiler, because you could come across this um, in your playthrough. But anyway, if you want to go back to World 1, which I do, just tap it on the touchscreen. Delightful. Now I'm going to finish this part off by going through this little barricade. See that there's a number 5 on it? Well, that means you need five star coins to bypass it, and you gotta actually pay them off the star coins that you've collected through the levels. And opening up those paths will automatically give you a save. So you might actually wanna save um, opening up those paths until after you're ready to, and like quit the game or something like that, because you can't freely save until you beat the game. So yeah, use those signposts as a way to um, save your game. So I'm probably going to leave most of those along the way until the very, very, very end of the game, just for the sake of convenience. Anyway, green mushroom houses here are life houses. And you play a little mini game in them. And Toadsworth here is going to distribute some cards. You got three mush, uh, three life shrooms there to get. And you, what you really want to get is times two lasts. You multiply the mushrooms that you get and don't hit Bowser at all, preferably. But that's almost impossible to do. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> because you have a, you always have, you know, that one in six chance of getting a Bowser, and yeah. <laughs> so it's it's kind of difficult to get them all. You gotta get, you gotta have a lucky guess. I wonder when I'm gonna reach 99 lives. Place your bets below in the comment section. <laughs> But anyway, I think I've done enough levels for one part, so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.